Some are facing the flooding head on, choosing to stay inside their homes. 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey spoke with one man who may be the only one left in his neighborhood. In the last couple of days, the water was really coming up in the leg. Over the last week, Robert Williams has watched Sugar Lake creep closer to his backyard. So where is it normally? Oh, you see that white dock over there? Probably about four foot below that. The nearby Missouri River dealing with historic flooding, leading to evacuations in some parts, mm -hmm. and many of Williams' neighbors at Lewis and Clark Village near Atchison to find safer places to stay. It's really got a lot of people on edge because so many of them have been through this. And they've seen the aftermath of it. Williams now finding the neighborhood he has called home for almost 40 years nearly empty. But he has chosen to stay behind. My carpet got wet in 93, but that's about it. I've been pretty much blessed over here. He now keeps watch over the neighborhood, waiting for everyone to come back. Yeah, you know, I got a weapon around here for, you know, something don't go right out there. With the Missouri River still rising here in Atchison and other parts, some families had to make some tough choices after leaving their homes. Because they don't understand what's going on, so we just try to be really compassionate and, get, you know, pay more attention, extra love, things like that. Over at the Atchison Humane Society, some left their pets at the facility before leaving to stay with others or at shelters. A lot of places don't take the pets, which is kind of why we're hoping that people will reach out to us so that we can help them. Flooding leading to evacuations in parts of Missouri and Kansas, forcing some to choose between staying or leaving. It's just one of them things you got to deal with. You know, tornadoes, mudslides, floods. Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News.